You also mentioned that Vector is more interested in the value and culture of its human resources rather than experience in supply chain distribution when people are applying for jobs. So let's talk a little bit about that because we see this great resignation and what it's really about is that people are kind of fed up with toxic workplaces. So how much of that relates to the shipping industries and supply chain constraints? Because we know that there are other things that go into it, but human resources is, is a huge issue if you can't get anybody to drive the trucks. So how, I mean, the company's not looking in the mirror. <laughs> I, I get, I, so yes. Yeah, so at the end of the day, it's something that baffles me too, right? Cause it's something that in, I think if you were to ask the same question to everyone out there, if you just went into a street and just ask, people would agree with you, right? But when it comes to actually putting their money where their mouth is, for some reason, people start to think that profits are more important or this is more important. And so I feel like everyone would agree from like a very theoretical standpoint that human beings and the well-being of the employees are the number one. But then the leaders of those companies, either because of what the way they are raised or because of the pressure that they, they get from their board of directors or their shareholders or stakeholders, they don't make the right decisions. I think that's something that, that Vector has very clear and it has had it very clear since we started the company, right? For us, our main priority is our team. And that's why we have an incredible team and that's what we're able to do the things we do. And that's why we're able to work for the automotive industry and aerospace industry because we have fully committed, fully passionate and fully engaged people. And honestly, I'm I'm just super thankful that I, they let me be part of the team. 